This video is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. What's going on, smart people? Bringing you another ep- no. <laughs> I wanted to say out of habit this was a TensorCalc video, but no, today we're doing a physics meme review. It's been such a long time since I've done one of these. It's been a while since I've looked at any physics memes to begin with. Uh, today we're going to be going through physics memes on the Grand Unified Physics Memes Facebook page. And then if they get a little bit dry, maybe we'll move over to the physics meme subreddit because sometimes those aren't horrible. Uh, when I finished the TensorCalc series, I wanted to start doing more of the funnier videos, the more lighthearted videos, so I thought, what should I start with? And what better to start with than the very first physics meme review? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is the Grand Unified Physics Memes. I don't know how to use anything social media. The only social media I use nowadays is old school RuneScape, when I'm buying a girlfriend for 5GP. Don't tell Kelly. Um, so I don't know if I can sort the Facebook stuff by like most popular or whatever, so I just have it sorted from recent posts. So the first one, I did see this one already. Uh, we have the Annihilation Operator, Omaeo wa mo shinderu, uh, acting on the ground state wave function. So yeah, you're already dead. I'm gonna be skipping through the memes that I either don't get, they're either too long or I just didn't laugh at them because why would I make you sit through that? So it says, shut up and calculate, let's go. Uh, okay, that's a lot. These ones are so busy, Jesus. So we have a propagator here, we have some Feynman diagrams for various interactions, a path integral, what is that, the standard model Lagrangian? Uh, okay. Using Overleaf to write LaTeX. Overleaf. I've been using that lately, actually. It's really convenient. I mean, people are like, what if you don't have internet? When do you ever don't have internet, okay? <laughs> Overleaf is kind of amazing. <laughs> using TechMaker. Uh, using Tech Studio, that's the one I use if if I don't have internet. <laughs> uh, using Notepad, that's weird. Did you know that you can actually, there's like LaTeX plugins you can put into Slack. So if you have a workspace with like your advisors or classmates, there's like a Slack plugin for writing LaTeX in that, which is pretty cool. <laughs> this is just going to be, this is going to be less of looking at memes and more of just general helpful advice, <laughs> apparently. Taking the complex conjugate of I oh God, I've been using this Greek letter so much more. I've never used this Greek letter more than I have in the past like couple of months because it's this important parameter in nuclear physics that's called the skewness. And I now I can actually write it. It's not as bad, but it was, uh, yeah, there should be a montage of me struggling and sweating trying to write this letter over and over again. Um, comp, uh, the conjugate representation, is that just the adjoint? Sus. Is that what that? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Um, me, newspaper articles saying discovery upends known laws of physics. Fermilab with a 4.2 sigma value on the mu on g minus 2 experiment. I've been meaning to make videos on that. I just don't understand it enough to do it. And I'm also finishing up a course in GR and going to be driving home to Virginia. So I don't know when I'll get around to actually talking about that. Violation of lepton flavor universality, the standard model. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Bulk holography, holography and, and string theorists using perturbation theory for systems that don't even converge. When's the last time you check to see if the perturbative series actually converges? If it, if it gets you close enough, it must have. That's my philosophy. Anything converges if you wait long enough. Conformal field theories. That's something that I don't really dabble in. It's so conformal field theories that are like, well, I guess, scale invariant. They're pretty um, related to, I wouldn't say related to my research, but when you discuss like form factors of the energy momentum tensor, there are certain conformally invariant quantities uh, that end up popping up. So that is something that I should invest some time into understanding a little bit. The only thing is there's such a rabbit hole because for my research, I could go down the conformal field theory rabbit hole, the doing quantum field theory in a curved background rabbit hole. There's so much that you could do. Uh, I just haven't taken the time to actually do that. Stat mech books using ensembles without context, without context, eigenstate thermalization hypothesis. Uh, quick, go grab Pathria. Okay, we have a G equals eight pi T. We have Einstein's field equations. Oh, so it's someone just saying, oh, it's really simple. It's like, no, but this is what it really means. Einstein's field equations, uh, which we just derived, or motivated, I guess I should say, in the most recent TensorCalc videos, 
Ricci scalar, Ricci tensor in terms of the, oh, so it's Ricci scalar in terms of the Ricci tensor, Ricci tensor in terms of the Riemann tensor, Riemann tensor in terms of derivatives and products of Christoffel symbols, Christoffel symbols in terms, all that stuff is so nested, it's insane. It is pretty overwhelming the first time you start going through it. Uh, average string theorist, average experimentalist. Q of T nightmares, ah, oh, that's Brahim, that's cool. Um, UV divergences. Yeah, we can handle those. We do have the technology. As long as it's, uh, it's an, and it's an infrared divergence. Uh, what was I doing? Is it tadpole diagrams that have the IR divergences that are difficult to get rid of? Condensed matter physicist. Oh, great. I can't wait not to understand this meme. Can't find a quantum spin liquid. That's not a real, that's a thing. Say something smart about physics. Uh, quantum spin liquid. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that checks out. Problem cannot be mapped into a quadratic band theory. I need my buddy Rigo here so that he can tell me if this stuff is funny or not. Wigner crystal meth. It's basically a human fermion. Even neutrinos, I don't even understand these and they're still kind of funny. Even neutrinos have more human interaction. Oh, it, so it took me six examples to learn that they're just talking about this uh, physicist. So yeah, it's like a mix of quantum physics and stat mech. Actually understands neither is actually chemistry. That's pretty funny. That's a top tier meme. If someone like me who knows nothing about condensed matter physics uh, could still get a laugh out of that. Excellent. Excellent job. Standard model. <laughs> Brookhaven Na Ma National Lab. Brookhaven National Lab. Fermi Lab. Yeah. My advisors used to tell me that Brookhaven was the future of, uh, of physics ever since it was decided that the new accelerator will be going there instead of like at, uh, to Jefferson Lab. And I guess um, even without that being done, they're still coming out, coming out on top. You'll never understand physics if you sit with a book and pen. You need to get up and start experiencing it. Uh, I disagree, but I tend to go from my whiteboard to my tablet and then just back to sheets of paper because I like to change things up. Self-interaction terms, Lagrangian. Uh, one loop divergence, counter term Lagrangian. There you go, two loop divergence, counter term Lagrangian. Uh, so clearly this one isn't about, what are they called? What are they even called? Super renormalizable theories? I think for those, so for if you don't get the meme, let's explain it because that always makes it funnier. For the self interaction terms, these diagrams that have loops, they always diverge and you can isolate the divergence and get rid of it by adding a an additional term to the Lagrangian, uh, but that doesn't guarantee that you'll get rid of higher order divergences. But I think in like super renormalizable theories, I think there are like a finite number of counter terms you can add, and then it removes all the divergences. I could be wrong though. I'm not. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on that thing. I'm supposed to be an expert on. Uh, what was this made by flammable maths? I thought you were my little pog champ. All right, I don't know how long that's gonna be. I think these ones were pretty good, actually. Let's move over, let's give uh, the physics meme subreddit a little bit of a shot and then we'll end things there. So I'm there right now and I have it sorted by top of this month. I haven't looked at any of them that yet though. I finally saw, saw it IRL, assuming a house to be a sphere. <laughs> I wonder what the context was for this. So it's either, so I think I see some solar, what is that? Solar system stuff, maybe it's an astronomy. Uh, back of an envelope calculation. Solving the grandfather paradox by killing your grandpa and still being alive, forgetting the time travel part. Oh God, it's here again. Uh, corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Students, they're the same picture. I do think, I mean, my, my, C's, my C's look a lot better now. I am, I'm recovering this person. But now they look a bit more like this. Thanks a lot, GPDs. Uh, you think all the calculations are going well. Velocity <laughs> equals twice the speed of light. <laughs> Mathematicians just multiply by dx. No, derivatives aren't fractions. You can't make such blatant approximations. Physicists, is cow a sphere? Yes. I wonder for how much of a meme that is. I've never seen that ever. In, in like a, a physics book or something, a like a spherical cow thing. I've assumed some weird stuff to be spheres, don't get me wrong, but never the actual cow.
the canonical cow. Teacher, we happy? Me opening the exam paper. Air resistance and friction is negligible. <laughs> yeah, we happy. Uh, tell me the truth. I'm ready to hear it. Physicists approximate just as much as engineers. I've been saying that forever. Probably more. I don't have a career. I don't have my own. I wouldn't be doing this PhD if I couldn't approximate every single day. Anything I do, anything I look at is done in perturbation theory. All I'm interested in is what the answer almost is. Um, so we haven't, so yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad this is, this is coming out more, especially in the physics meme Reddit, where usually, I mean, maybe things are changing, maybe there's a change of pace, but from my recollection, it used to just be a platform for shitting on engineers approximating things. Oh yeah, Jupiter, uh, what is it, like, it's like that meme where, uh, you have the, the noob playing the video game, like your friend getting into the video game, and then the you with all of like your max gear and stuff defending them from arrows and stuff so that they can enjoy the game that's what this is that's how i would have made the meme so you study physics you must be really smart uh and then and there i'm afraid the answer is no yeah story of my life when you start to find a silly mistake you made in your solution this little maneuver is going to cost us 51 years i sent <laughs> god I made the stupidest mistake. It may not sound like a stupid mistake unless you know that it's a stupid mistake. I had to calculate, so I'm interested in calculating these things called generalized parton distributions, which are really useful in uh, nuclear physics. And um, it's all quantum field theory. And you basically have these fields evaluated at different points. I accidentally made them at the same points, these correlator functions, and went through all of the calculation doing it wrong. And I had sent an email to my advisor. I was like, is this, this is useless now, isn't it? And he's like, yeah, that's, that means nothing to anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I can relate to that a little bit. Um, I want to die. I want to reach the state of thermodynamic equilibrium. That's like those games that uh, censor any kind of bad word that you may throw in there. Like you can't say, I don't know, I'm going to kill you or something. You're going to be like, I'm going to not alive you. Yeah, that's what they should start using in like, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna, why did my mind go to Club Penguin? Uh, theorists spending all their life de uh, developing a theory. Experimentalists, when that theory does not agree to hundreds of decimal points of the experiment. <laughs> hey, some people's lives, some people's careers chasing that next decimal. We need them. That is so funny. H bar equals one. I think I might actually just end it here. These were pretty good. These were, especially on the physics meme subreddit, usually they're not quite as good, but maybe I should start you know, uh, giving them another chance. I mean, I, that's what I started making. It started strong, then they got a little bit, engineers approximate, ha ha ha, and now it seems like they're coming back. Engineer, oh, okay, so there was, the next meme was an approximation meme. It, it still is curious how there wasn't just this steady stream of engineering memes in the subreddit. Speaking of curious stream, huge thanks to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video. This is a horrible segue. Now, if you don't know, Curiosity Stream is a subscription streaming service with thousands of options for you to choose from. If you're like me, which, I mean, you're watching a video on physics memes, so I assume you're interested in science. If you go to browse in the science uh, topic, the list just goes on for all the different topics you can watch videos on. For example, if we go to physics, you got Drake equation, story of electricity. So there's a lot of overlap between like the physics and the astronomy astrophysics uh, stuff. I feel like I've outgrown the big topic videos like on string theory, multiverse. A few years ago I would have watched those, but lately I've been a lot more into the history of science, uh, how these discoveries are made with the technology that was available at the time, and what mistakes or accidents were made that led to these discoveries in the first place. So I've been checking out the story of electricity, which has been pretty fascinating. Now you can get unlimited access for $2.99 a month or $19.99 for the year. And you can get started on a free trial by clicking the link in the description or going to curiositystream.com slash Andrew Dotson and use the code Andrew Dotson. Go figure. Uh, so huge thanks to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video. Hope you all enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. And I'll see you guys there.